They're all Photoshop. <laughs> You can do what was that? <laughs> I think I turned into a cartoon character. What's going on, guys? I'm Matthias bringing you a brand new video. Now, you're gonna like what we got here for you, all right? I guarantee you'll like it. Today we are doing 10 tech items that may waste your money. And guess what guys? You have held out with me for a while. You have let me grow my beard out. Now it looks all trimmed up, you know? It looks A-list methodic. You got to trust the dude, all right? That's what happens when you grow out a beard. It gets all crazy, but you have to keep growing it out no matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone calls you, you have to keep doing it. I think I did a tangent there. <laughs> Give me some beard love down in the comments below. I'm gonna let you guys know whether these items are tasteful or wasteful. First item, Ember Temperature Control Ceramic Mug. I actually have one of these at home, Tanner, and they're awesome. Why? Because they keep your coffee, your drink, or whatever you want at the exact temperature you want it. If that's not the epitome mm. of luxury, I don't know what is. You're gonna you know what slap I mean? a Tesla sticker on it too? <laughs> no, 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 Tesla's not luxury. Tesla's about technological advancement, not luxury. Exactly. You look at the inside of a Tesla, right? Compared to like the inside of a car that's the same price from like a different manufacturer. Oh, hands down, way luxur way more luxurious. Tesla's like bare bones in the inside. This is like a Rolls Royce mug. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like you pour your coffee in it and your coffee's just like, this is nice, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna stay the proper temperature my entire life, dude. All right, let's add to cart. Ember, I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> look at that presentation. 10 out of 10, mm. you know? Good Close box. Standard. Okay, so taking a look at this, looks just like kind of like a normal coffee mug, right? But then you look at that. That's the contact charging. Here's the on button. You click this on button right here. Boom, you see that little, that little light right there flashing? That means it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he made it red as the color because if you have multiple of these, you can customize this color so you know whose is whose. Oh. So like Amanda made hers pink, mine's blue, just so I know. The one bad thing about these mugs is that you cannot put them in the dishwasher. I mean, is it really that hard to wash out your mug with your hand like people have been doing it Forever. for centuries? <laughs> yeah. Here is the app. See that? 70 degrees. Now, let's put some fluids in it. So here's the thing, right? This will not heat your coffee up. It will keep your coffee hot. Huge difference. You're not gonna put cold coffee in here like this. It's not going to heat it up, right? Yeah, 84 degrees right here. The prime temperature is like 120 to 130. Wow, it's hot. Yeah, but that's the prime temperature, my dog. You put coffee in here, typically when you put it in there, it's like somewhere around 170 to like 160, depending on how, you know, how long you wait to put it in your mug. This app will let it cool down till it reaches the exact temperature you want and then keep it that temperature until the mug dies, basically, which lasts about an hour. If you keep it on its charging coaster, it'll last all day. I'm sorry though, if you take an entire day to drink one <laughs> cup of coffee, maybe you don't like coffee. I'm gonna rate this a tasteful for sure. I dig it, but it is expensive it is pricey, so if you want to live that luxurious life, this is for you. If you don't, you know, go drink out of a river. <laughs> <laughs> Ginkgo Solar Tree Environmentally Friendly Charging Station. You know what Ginkgo is? No. Ginkgo Biloba? <laughs> <laughs> you just said two random words to me. I don't know what those are. It sounds like a Star Wars character, doesn't it? Does a lot. Ginkgo biloba. No, it's like a herb, a spice. It like hypes you up, it amps you up, right? It's in a lot of energy drinks, and yeah. it's like a supplement that you can take that's just like, you know? <laughs> gets you amped up in a natural fashion. Search ginkgo biloba. Uh, ginkgo biloba supplement. Yeah, from WebMD. That's trustworthy. You don't trust WebMD? No, I think it's just funny that everyone goes to WebMD and then they get, find out they all have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's funny? You are, you are toxic, No, dude. it's not because they actually do. It's just that, <laughs> oh, oh God, I got the sniffles. <laughs> cancer. Like that's Oh, what... you mean they think they have cancer. Exactly. Okay, because the way you worded that, <laughs> I was like, I can't keep that on the channel, no, dude. The self-diagnosis <laughs> of WebMD. Yes, no, I mean, that's the worst thing to do, you know? <laughs> I don't know why I ever do that, man. It's because it's like, it's always like, Oh, I have this pain in my side. I'm like pain inside and it's like you're dying. I'm like, I pain believe you inside. Pain inside <laughs> Why do people take ginkgo? Ginkgo improves blood flow to the brain and acts like an antioxidant These effects may translate into some benefits for certain medical problems, but the results have been mixed That's because pharmaceutical companies can't make money on it because they can't patent it I'm oh, just saying oh. do your own research suckers. Don't trust big pharma the government <laughs> Don't trust the farm or the government. Anyways, add to cart. Wow, XD design. I, I, I only look <laughs> the meme. I only look at someone going, like, as in design. <laughs> Ginkgo solar tree. So take a look at this thing. This thing is designed to charge your phone in the sun. 
You ever left your phone in the sun for a hot minute? Yeah, too hot. Yeah. It overheats. It overheats. You have this like triangle thing that's just like, can't use your phone anymore. You left it out in the sun, you idiot. Yeah, I gotta cool down, guy. <laughs> Here it is. That's not a tree. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. So this is what you do. You fan out and you get more coverage. And these are all solar panels right here, right? And then here's the battery. You click that puppy on, the battery is fully charged. You plug this puppy in and I guess there you go. Maybe you put this by a windowsill. So there's a little plug right here in the back like that. You see that? Let's see. <laughs> um, it doesn't work, but it says it's charged right here. This is $120. For a fake tree that doesn't work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's gotta be something worth money in this, right? Uh, I doubt it's the solar panels. <laughs> I doubt it's the battery. Oh my god. Uh, it's the wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was garbage. Hot garbage. Didn't even work. Just plug into a wall, you hippie. <laughs> <laughs> the RC wall climbing battle tanks. Why are they looking at each other? Yeah, I should be looking at the wall. These kids don't want to win very much. When's the last time you drove up a wall? Or when's the last time you drove someone up a wall? You. Trick question. Me, yeah. right now. Always. Perpetually <laughs> driving you up a wall. <laughs> Available only from Hamaker Schleimer. Doesn't that sound like a euphemism for a body part? Yeah. Schleimer. Come, come hold my Hamaker Schleimer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, put your Schleimer back in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about a hand, okay? <laughs> put your hand in your pants? No, that's what you said. <laughs> I was saying hold my Ten is the perv. These are two remote controlled battling tanks that appear to defy gravity by climbing walls, scaling windows, and adhering to ceilings. Control. Did you guys ever have remote control things as kids? You know what we I mean? We used to have little, uh, they were like RC cars, but they were gas powered. And they could gas powered through. RC cars? Yeah, they were gas powered. Your, they your childhood sounds awesome. It was cool. We had a dirt lot next to my house. We'd make ramps with them, and, then we, and they were like kind of all-terrain things. So we'd be... You'd be drifting them? Oh heck yeah, these things had so much speed. It was really fun. I thought my childhood was good. Yours was all right. I mean, did you have a dirt lot next to your house that you were throwing RC cars around in? Now I feel like my childhood was troubled. Add a shopping cart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Every time you slam the prod down, you break it. I didn't break it, I just unboxed it for you. <laughs> all right, well, there you go, guys. Uh, now, Tanner, I challenge you to a battle. Hey, Tanner, this one will be yours. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, so check this out. You put these two together like this, mm -hmm. and if I have a fire trigger right here. Oh. So loud. I'm so much better at you than this. Cause you sat in one spot. I'm sorry, I messed up. I'm just so much better than you. <laughs> there we go. Check this out. What the heck is that sound? That is sick. It's so difficult to control now. Yeah, it goes like, to... tapping it barely, tapping it barely turns like a 180. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You can't even steer. And this is on a wall, too. Oh, no, you have to be going and turning at the same time, and you have a little bit more control. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I think that uh, they die too quick, though. This one already was dead. All right, so I'll say that's tasteful, okay, suck face? Tuzaula! Business laptop backpack. <laughs> uh, Water-resistant anti-theft. Anti-theft, anti-theft my tushy. I guarantee you'll be able to steal this backpack from me. I think what they mean is they can't steal things inside of it, but what they fail to realize is that you can just take the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually meant to be taken, it's portable, you know? But it does look like a cool backpack. That's just backpacks, you can't fix that unless you literally handcuff the backpack to yourself. But then you're, someone's looking at, at you like, what you got in that backpack? Exactly. Now I want to cut off your arm to see what's in it. It's all <laughs> my know? search history I had to put in here. <laughs> this guy's handcuffed to it. Oh no, it's not a handcuff. It's just a fashion cuff. Look at his beard though. <laughs> wow. Come on, dude. I was just feeling confident about my beard. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. <laughs> I was just compensating for my lack of head hair with my beard hair. And I just felt confident about this manly, this manly mane. To be fair, he's doing the same thing. Yeah, that's true. Look at that weird haircut. So what's your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's running from life like he doesn't care. <laughs> Wait, go back to him. Look at the bad Photoshop of like the wires coming out of his phone. Oh, that is a Photoshop. They're all Photoshop. <laughs> You can do what was that? <laughs> I think I turned into a cartoon character. You got really crazy right there. Add a cart. <laughs> okay, there we go. Look at that. Twazala. Twazala. It sounds like something that someone would scream right before they're going to kill someone. Exactly. <laughs> Twazala. Or they go to war. Twazala. The entire like army's like, Twazala. <laughs> okay, so we got a little pocket here. 
Nothing special, just right, reached inside it. You saw, got another pocket right here. Oh, okay, so we got some special things in here. That's a deep pocket, we got some special things. It's not super special, but it's a little special. Then we got another pocket right here. So this is the third pocket in case, you know, you're counting. I have Ah, been. so now we have something different, something special. We have some cables in here. So these are cables that I guess you can plug into your battery bank, so you can be using your phone. This right here is maybe if you want to keep your phone in your bag, and then you plug in your headphones to this right here. All right, so I mean, that's pretty much it, really. Look at this right here. I think this is the anti-theft portion. So check this out. This is a combination. If I take all these zippers, what? There's only two spots. Okay, so just my main zipper. So it's about one third anti-theft. <laughs> <laughs> For the main zipper, we have this. So you put your important things in here, like that. <laughs> this is actually difficult. You gotta put them both in at once? What? <laughs> I'm done, dude. What the heck? Oh, you just push it in there. Okay, I'm just being a doofus. There we go. So that's in there now. You lock it like that. And now you can't get in this bag, all right? That's the whole point. You can't get in this bag. But if you have anything valuable in the other pockets, you could steal it. <laughs> So Tanner, I just set the combination. What do you think the combination is? So if I know Matt, it's one of two combinations. I'll try the first one first. Four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I just saying, if I know you, all right. Let me guess your second one. You're pretty basic guy. Oh, it was zero. <laughs> I like how you did four twenty first. Well, I get it. That was just for the memes. All right, I say this is tasteful because you know you can at least keep your laptop in there. Next item: key clip, gun metal, something, carabiner, key holder, something, key slim key organizer, something, key holder, something. They really are pushing this. What is, what is that? that, dude? I feel like that's like trying to like I don't know some conspiracy. Yeah, I can't read that. Let's just buy it. Add to cart. See what the heck it is. Here it is. What is this thing? Just go on your belt or something? No, no, that's. They, this is for keys. You can like swing out your keys. Take these out. Take these screws out like said. Boink. Oh, interesting. Let me put this back. Now, you can just flip out your key. And I know you're wondering, why are these keys covered in this black tape? That's because you guys are thieves and we don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> they just look at the exact niche like, yeah, we're gonna get one in that. <laughs> no, you can actually make a key from a photo. I'd rather not have you guys just like randomly appear in my office one morning. <laughs> so we covered it up. Well, now they know it's office keys. So this is what's bad. You see this? That is so freaking sharp. It's not even funny. Touch that. Dang it! <laughs> you actually scared me. See how That's sharp really that is? really sharp, yeah. I don't like that. You go to put that on your like belt loop and you stab just yourself. stab your side a little bit. Ugh. Not gonna be nice. What if you got those like tube top halter top things or whatever they're called where like they show a little bit of belly, you're wearing one of those, you know? Not you. Well, <laughs> maybe you. <laughs> it's really up to you. I'm more of a nipple tank guy, man. More of a nipple gotcha. tank guy. No, but some ladies like to show their midriff, right? Okay. And they go in and put this on their belt. Stab. Just stab their side. That's a no-go. Too sharp. So I'm gonna say wasteful. There's better alternatives out there, all right? Hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into that next product, I want to give a big shout out to Mel Viora for saying, love the beard. What's your secret? My secret is testosterone. Now, <laughs> if you want to get a shout out and if you want your comment on screen, yo, all you got to do is subscribe, click that bell notification icon, and guess what? Be here in the first 30 minutes when I pick it and just comment, you know, like to some of the questions that I'm asking like I asked you earlier. Next item. This is a flash drive that enables one to save YouTube videos without using Using storage space on a device about the size of a matchbox. <laughs> matchbox. <eight. laughs> it plugs into an iPhone, iPad, or iPod via its lightning connector and uses an app to view content from YouTube, Facebook. What? This is like a YouTube hack? Can also be used to back up personal videos or photos. Okay, so it's like a hard drive that lets you like download videos from YouTube. How then, weird! If you guys aren't familiar, YouTube does not let you download content. YouTube does if you're a YouTube Red subscriber, but you also have to download the content within the YouTube app. It's just a garbage experience, to be perfectly honest with you. It's like you download a video and you're like, where to go. <laughs> it's so bad. Let me show you. So here's the YouTube app. I got it in dark mode. That's a new feature. That's nice. Thanks to YouTube. If you want to go download a video, let's say we go to Jack's Films for some strange reason. I don't know why you'd ever do that. <laughs> but if you want to, there's a download button there because I'm a YouTube Red subscriber. $10 a month. A little pricey. Click download. Again, really have to like Jack's Films. <laughs> he's like one of the only YouTubers that might get the joke. Yeah, he's the one that <laughs> won't care about that. <laughs> yeah. Now, video download. We got a little notification. So if I take this offline, it says, 
you're offline. Watch downloads without a connection. So now that'll pop up. So that's good, that's a new feature. But say that thing didn't come up, right? Because YouTube is intermittent at best, right? So now I quit the app and I'm gonna open YouTube back up. Oh, it just automatically goes there. This is so much better, YouTube. Before I was like, where'd everything go? So I take it back, YouTube. But now I have one problem. I got Jack's films on my phone. <laughs> Delete from downloads. Absolutely wanna do that. Do not give him the view. So that's not a horrible experience, but I guess the experience is a little worse when you have a shoddy connection. So YouTube thinks you're online, but really you can't watch any video. So then you have to like go through your phone and like find it. It's, it's a little bit convoluted, but that's better. Let's see what the heck happens when I buy this. Add the shopping bag. Tool drive. <laughs> that I don't think they're allowed to use. Well, I think this whole thing shouldn't exist. This has got to be counterfeit. YouTube, I can't imagine, wants this to exist, right? Oh, there's no way. Because obviously, if you could do this without a YouTube subscription, then you're just eating into YouTube sales of YouTube Red. Correcto! You know, you can just look at this product and tell, like, it's not official. It's just the way that they're stuffing everything on, like, trying to get as many things. 32 gigabytes! You know, YouTube download! It's very cluttered package. Yeah, it's really cluttered. Okay, so it, it's claiming it's got a lot of features here. Let's check this out. That's better packaging. I don't know why they wouldn't just sell it like this. Yeah. All right, so check this out. Let's open this up. Here we go. Here's the little device. It's got lightning and USB here. Let's pop this open, see what happens. App not installed. Wow, all of these apps can be used by this? You need eight different apps for this one thing instead of just putting it all in one app. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Let's download this. Whoa! Look at this knockoff YouTube app. How bizarre. No, this is YouTube mobile in like a skin. So if we go to Jack's films, cause I'm not gonna rip off myself. And we go back to this video, cache. So I cached it, right? I click home. Leaving the screen will pause all downloads in process. Download oh, so can be resumed. Download. Oh, one video download complete. So now that it's complete, there it is. There's the video. If I take this offline, I should technically still be able to, wow. That's no, pretty efficient. Again, sorry for playing that. Yeah, this 100% will let you bypass YouTube Red and it is, holy mackerel, a hundred dollars? Or you can subscribe to YouTube Red for 10 months and download them onto your phone and have Google Music and be supporting creators that you like. All in all, like if this thing was 10 bucks, then I'd be like, yeah, go wild, you know, hippie. It's not though, I would just support the creators that you like, you know? So cover up. <laughs> Stay on my channel, I'm right? I'm safe, you know you like me. I bring the good content. Right, does Jax Films have this beard? I don't think so. No, not at all. Can he grow this beard? Maybe. Doubt it. Right? Look at this beard, dude. Don't Doubt take it. this away from me. This is all I have. <laughs> so wasteful. Zyron. XRN 500 yen. Five inch create a sticker machine. Okay, well, let's watch this. Steph Kingston here to tell you about the Who's Sveth? Sticker Max from Zyron. I love it when people introduce themselves. Like, I'm supposed to know who that is. <laughs> I'm Sveth Kingston. What does that have anything to do with the product? Like unless maybe, the... unless maybe she made the product? Anyways, let's. Wait, what, what are we watching again? <laughs> Five, Five inches wide with that. But why did they fill in the set? Look at all the empty cabinets. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> it looks like they literally walk into like a home that it's like they're getting ready to sell to somebody. Like, hey, what are we just filming here, huh? <laughs> they just walk into a home that hasn't been sold yet. <laughs> like, how about this? How about we film in here? This will do. It's great for crafts, school projects, car Oof. Doesn't that, doesn't that look like a serial killer's basement <laughs> yeah. a little bit? <laughs> When you do that conversion. No way, you're spoiling it! Add to cart. Wow, wow. create a sticker. Max. Wow, this box has so much writing on it. Let's just ignore it all and just make a sticker. It can't be that hard, right? I think what you do is you throw something in there and it turns into a sticker. You got any paper for me that you want into a sticker? All right, use this picture of me. That's not you. Yeah, it's me, I'm Brian. Who would want a picture of Brian? Or a sticker of Brian? I don't know, beats me, probably me. <laughs> that was so creepy. Why was that so creepy? I mean, now I, I guess I have a sticker? Is that how that works? So what, I just peel this off? Ew. <laughs> Are you happy now? Brian's back. Hey look, Brian's <laughs> back everybody. Oh, it sounds like you're killing something, 100%. Why is it so curly? I don't like that it's so curly. Low quality sticker. Super low quality sticker. Hey, oh. shh. What if I told you I'm... Shh, he doesn't get it. Look at the sticker. Oh. <laughs> I'm shushing. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're going with it? Yeah, the sticker. We're talking about stickers right now. Yeah, Keep thought... up. Ah! So uh, the sticker maker, eh, 50 out of 100. <laughs> The next yeah. item uh, evidently was sent to us. So Tanner, would you uh, be so kind as to bring it out so yeah. we can show 
you. Vortikan! Oh, gold, silver, the best metals. Oh, that is so heavy. Check this out. Ready for this? What the heck? You see that? That's dope. That's really cool. So it's like probably like a desk spinner toy, right? It's got a little side profile too. How do I do this without touching the side, right? See that? It's got that barbershop candy cane style, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this thing is heavy too. It's like solid metal, dude. If this hit me in the shvajanook, it hurt. So I'm gonna say that's tasteful, you know? Whack him. I hardly know him. <laughs> I told you it wasn't dead. Bamboo slate smart pad digital notebook small. If never mind, I don't even need to. I'll just watch show a video so I don't have to talk. Here, this better right change my life, I swear. <laughs> this Wacom tablet better change my outlook on life. It better get me back together with my wife. Yeah, we broke up this morning. <laughs> you know, the idea of writing on actual paper and then having it translated into digital is, is really cool in concept, but it just never is great. The only thing it might work for is like some sketches, but it's like when you're writing out like notes and things like that, I don't get it. It's not like you can continue writing in the note on your yeah. phone. It's just there. So it's like, if you don't have the, ta the, the pad with you, well, what do you do? So now you have to have two different note taking apps. You have one on your phone and one in real life. There's something off with it. Add to cart. <laughs> Here's the idea. If it takes your handwritten words and actually translates them into actual text that you can copy paste, then that's cool. Let's check this puppy out. The other issue that I have with these types of things is that you have to have like a special pen, don't you? Do you have to have the Wacom pen? And you have to kind of have an app, right? If you write this down and you don't have your phone on you and then you have your phone on you later, it's not gonna sync. This isn't like gonna sync to the cloud automatically, you know? Write on your bamboo smart pad. I gotta turn it on first. That's another issue. You forget to do that, your note won't transfer. Write on your pad. Next, press page button. Downloading, auto sync, finish. And there you have it. There's the note. Can I continue this note? No. no. I can't continue the note? Once you make one note, you finalize it. That seems really bizarre to me. So what if I make a bunch of notes up here and there's tons of paper left? Now if I make notes down here, because there's notes up here, the next time I sync it, it's just gonna be another note, but in the bottom. Can you combine them in this? Combine, there we go. Oh, okay. I was like, there's no way they couldn't have thought of that. <laughs> there's no way. I was like, there's no way I'm like opening this up and I'm like, already found an issue with it, you know? <laughs> so they do have that feature so you can combine it. But again, it's a process. It doesn't know when you wanna combine it. You have to go explicitly do that. So, I mean, there are use cases for this, but they're slim. It's a cool idea, but it's like, it needs this special paper that has all the dots, I'm assuming. Maybe not. You don't need special paper. Again, cool. But they might lead you to believe that you do need special paper. And the issue with that is when you do need special paper or they lead you to believe that you need special paper, I feel apprehensive about making notes because I'm like, oh, this note better be good or- That's for, one less I can use. You know what I mean? It's like the, the anxiety of a blank page. So, I mean, that's why this thing doesn't work for me. And that's why it doesn't work for me to like write my notes in like a really nice looking notebook. I, I can't do that because I'm like, my note isn't worth this nice notebook. I have to write in a trash notebook and then rewrite it or something. You know, I, I, that's just my brain and maybe that's just me. Probably just me, I'm a little crazy. It's all right, but it works and it works pretty flawlessly for what it says it does. So I'm gonna say tasteful. Edifier, MP200 portable Bluetooth speaker, water dust proof with micro SD card hiking, camping outdoors. So it's just a crappy little speaker. Is that all it is, Tanner? Uh, I mean, it's our job to test it. It is a little speaker, but is it crappy? I don't know, you tell me, guy, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> All right, fine. Add to cart, okay? Okay, you want to talk about it? No, I don't. Cool packaging. Here we go. You ready to listen to some beats, my dog? Oof, not great. I really don't know what you can get for $30 in the form of a speaker though, you know? Probably not much. So, I mean, like, I can't weigh it too heavily because it's like, what do you expect for 30 bucks? You want a That's decent right. speaker, spend some money, you hippie. Tune in. That's garbage quality. Yeah. Terrible quality. It's so Horrible quality. Yeah. Great song. There's your review of the speaker. You want more? <laughs> Whoa, you destroyed that. And Michael didn't even zoom out. Let me see that, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see it. Stop crushing it. I was gonna take that home to Amanda. Oh, now she's gonna like it even more. She wanted a crappy speaker. Matt, you brought something home that Tanner stomped out at the office? Perfect. Shoot, son, that's a battery. Look how crappy that speaker is in there. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is the impossible jigsaw puzzle. No joke, kinda impossible to do it. This video right here is a video in which your phone turns into a TV. It's a little product that makes your phone magnifies it, makes it giant. If you're new here and you stayed to the end of the video, that means I probably didn't offend you with something I said. So you're probably gonna wanna subscribe, you hippie. <laughs> High five.